Hey guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel. My name is Casey and I'm a flight attendant. Today I just wanted to show y'all what I bring in my cooler whenever I go on trips. I'm off today, but I'm on call for four days starting tomorrow, so I need to go ahead and meal prep anyway. So I'm just gonna show y'all how I meal prep for trips and what I like to bring on trips with me and how I pack my cooler. So this is the cooler that I always bring on trips with me. I've had it for two years now and it's still in great shape. It's pretty big, so I can fit about four days worth of food in here. And it's so nice that it just has this little slip here so it can slide onto the top of my suitcase. So that is my cooler. I'll leave the link to this cooler in the description box. So I'm off today, but starting tomorrow, I'll be on reserve for four days. So if I do get called for a trip, I wanna have food ready. And if I'm just staying home and I don't get called, I'll have food ready to go. So the first recipe that I'm gonna make is egg roll in a bowl. I got this from a keto YouTube channel and I love it. I make it all the time. I don't really do keto, but I do try to eat low carb. So this is something that I love to eat at home and when I go to work. So I need a banana expert to tell me if these are ready to be made into banana bread. Let me know. This is all that I use for this recipe. In the recipe video, they use ground pork, but I use ground beef, and then cabbage, chicken broth, soy sauce, minced garlic, and ground ginger. And they use a couple extra things in the video too that I don't use. I just like things a little more plain. Okay, so here is my egg roll in a bowl. And I always bring glass containers so that if I need to, I can heat up my food on the plane in the oven. And I love these Tupperwares from Ikea because they're smaller so I can fit more of them into my cooler. A lot of times I'll bring just like salads or things that I can eat cold um, for lunch so I can just eat them on the plane during the day or I'll bring this egg roll in a bowl and heat it up in the oven on the plane. And another dinner that I love to travel with is salmon and vegetables. So I'll do like salmon and Brussels sprouts or salmon and asparagus. So I'm actually just gonna make one serving of the salmon and Brussels sprouts. Normally if I were actually going on a trip or I thought I was probably gonna get called, I would probably make more of it. But since I think I'm probably gonna be home, I've got a lot of food here and staying at home, if I don't get called, I don't think I'm gonna be able to eat all of it. So I just like don't want to have too much food and then have it go to waste. So I'm just gonna make one of those and I'll show you how I do it. Okay, so this is how I make my salmon and Brussels sprouts. I only used about half the bag of Brussels sprouts and I'm just gonna put this all in together at 350 for 20 minutes. And I'm gonna use some olive oil, some salt and pepper, and then, and then some Old Bay seasoning on the salmon. Okay, so here's my salmon and Brussels sprouts and these containers I also got on Amazon and I can use them in the oven on the planes too, so that's really nice. Okay, so I've got all my meals prepped and now I'm gonna show you what I bring for snacks. I love berries, so I'll always bring little Ziploc bags full of berries. I also like to bring nuts for snacks, so I'll bring almonds or cashews. And right now I'm hooked on these dark chocolate covered almonds, so I'm gonna pack some of those. So I also use these little Ziploc bags for those. And I don't eat breakfast, so I don't really bring like breakfast foods. But the one thing that I always, always, always have with me on trips is this coffee creamer. I always bring some of these whenever I go on a two or three day trip. Even if I don't bring my cooler, I'll bring these in my purse. So I get this coffee creamer on Amazon. This is sugar-free French vanilla coffee creamer. And I bought a huge box of it, like probably like seven or eight months ago. And I still have several of these little boxes. They're just these little individual creamers. And I drink coffee every single day. And this is the coffee creamer that I drink at home. So I just love to bring this with me. I always have coffee in the morning and I just like for it to taste like when I'm having coffee at home because hotel coffee is not very good sometimes. Or if I get Starbucks coffee at the airport, then I'll just get black coffee and then I'll put these in there. And that saves me a lot of money. And I keep these in my little Ziploc bags too. These are the ice packs that I use in my cooler. I've got one larger one and one smaller one. 
These are just the best ice packs to travel with because you can just fill them up with ice on the plane or in your hotel. I used to use the ice packs that you have to keep in the freezer and they only last like a day. So whenever I would go on three or four day trips, they just wouldn't really keep my food cold. So these are perfect. Obviously I'm not packing up my cooler to go anywhere right now, but I'm just gonna show y'all how I would pack it if I were going on a trip. Okay, so in this top compartment here, I'm just gonna put my coffee creamer and my chocolate covered almonds in there because they don't really have to stay cold. Okay, so in the main compartment, I'm gonna put all my meals. So I'm gonna put the big ones on the bottom. And then I always put my fruit on top so they don't get squished. And then there's no ice in here, but I'm just gonna show you. I put my ice packs on the top and that is it. Okay, so that is it for what I keep in my cooler. And I will leave links to the products that I talked about in the description box below. I hope that y'all enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching and I will see you in my next video.